Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, I demonstrate how we can find out the top three salary people department wise from the input data set. And this is demonstration will be based on the data factory using data flow activities. So here in this Excel sheet, I have given you the sample data set preview. Here is on the left side my input data set and we have to get the right side this output data set okay as you can see that there are few columns like id name department and salary and these people are belonging to three different departments okay so we have to first get the department bucketed bucketed or partition so in the intermediate data set you can see clearly that we have grouped the department here okay so all the people belonging to the same department are grouped and then we have to find out the top salary top three salary of these these individuals department wise and then like the salary okay once we are going to group the department we have to then order or sort the salary too okay and in this case we have to get the top three salary okay so we have to uh, order by in descending order okay so uh, this data set is uh, in my database. The table name is new table. So I have given this query here. And to, in order to get this intermediate data set where we are actually partitioning the data on the basis of this department and then ordering it on salary, this is the SQL query. I will show the same in the database too. So here we are selecting all the columns and we are going to use the analytical function or the window function called as row number which has the syntax as row number function then over and in the brackets we have the partition by and order by so once we give the partition by and the column name the data gets partitioned or bucketed using that particular column so if we have given department as partition by so what happens is that this intermediate data set will be created okay all the uh, different departments will be grouped together then comes order by order by is for sorting and the sorting will be on the salary column so okay uh, so first what happens the data gets bucketed or partitioned on the department and then it gets sorted on the basis of this salary and then we'll give this row number output an alias here it is rn okay from this table so this intermediate data set will be created okay so this rn row number what it does is after bucketing and after sorting, this Rn will assign integer value in incrementing order starting from 1 to each of the data set. Okay. After these two things, so what happens is that the first row will be given number 1 and then in incrementing order. Okay. You can clearly see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then since the bucket has changed, it will again start from 1. Okay. So here till 7 and then again the bucket has changed. So 1, 2, Till six. One important thing to note is that the salary here in this case you can see is same. Okay. Even though the salary is same, row number will assign different values. Okay. It will always be incrementing by one. Had it been dense rank or rank, the case would have been different. Those two other functions are for different purpose. But here in this case, we are using row number function. And then last, we are interested only to get those salaried people who are having the top three salary in each department. So what happens is that we will create a, a query on top of this inner query to just filter out all those RNs which are less than four. That means still three. So we have got like the top three here. In this case, we can clearly see it is uh, the first three for this particular partition. So that we have got here. Then again in IT department, one, two, three. And then in ops department, one, two, three. So this is how we will work with the input data set to get the output data set of top three salaried individuals in each department. Now the same query will execute in the database. So let's execute here. So let's execute the first query. So the table present in the database is new table. Here the same data is present. <coughs> here the same data is present. 18 <coughs> rows are there. Sorry. And then we will apply the row number function. The row number function is applied and we'll execute it. 
to see how the data looks here what happens through partition by the data is partitioned or it is bucketed department wise and then order by that means it is sorted on salary and that is descending desc we have to define and then we give it an alias rn from this table now we have to get only top 3 so we will we'll create a query on top of this inner query and we'll give the filter as rn less than fee so this if we execute this we'll get only the data or the records which are having rn less than 4 means the top 3 in each department okay so we have done this in the database now we will execute the same sql logic or implement the same using the window transformation in azure data factory so we'll go to the data factory and we'll create a pipeline let's create a new pipeline and in the pipeline we'll name it as top 3 salary top 3 salary and then we'll take the data flow activity and we'll name the data flow activity as well top top the salary and then we'll import the data set so this data set is already there in my storage into container inside the test input folder as highest salary input.csv so when i have opened this csv we have the same data so we'll try to connect to this data set in the data factory so we'll try to connect to this data set in the data factory let's connect to the source add the source in the data set let's connect to the storage gen2 account it's a delimited text and the input will be highest salary input link service is already there first row has header let's browse to the file location it's inside the test input folder as high as salary input.csv click okay click okay and then let's go to the data preview so we can preview the data once the data flow debug option is enabled so let's enable it let's wait for the cluster to get ready and then we can refresh here to fetch the data so the data appeared here so we have got the data preview of the input data set next job is to attach the window transformation so let's click on the plus sign and this window transformation lies under the schema modifier section will add window and the very first tab is window settings here we have these four configurations over sort range by and window columns so over if we go back to the sql query over partition by department okay so whatever is inside this row number over partition by and order by we will configure here so the very first thing is over over in the window transformation is same as partition by in the sql query okay for row number so whatever is under partition by we are partitioning on let me first execute this query the original query so we are partitioning on the department only so that the department are grouped together why we have to group because we have to find the top 3 salaried people in each department okay so that so the group has to be formed or the uh, bucket has to be created so we are doing it on the department column so in the over here we will select the department column this is selected next setting is sort sort configuration sort it is clear from this sql query that order by is creating the sort on the salary column in descending order so here in the sort we will add the salary column salary column is added then the order should be in our case since we have to get the top salaried people it should be descending order next is range by which we we'll leave it as is we will not make any change here the fourth configuration is window columns window columns means the function which we have defined over our partition and sort okay so in our case it is row number 
it could be other functions too like rank and tens rank in our case we will be taking row number so let's give it an alias row number column let's say this is user defined name the column name which we are giving okay and in the expression we already have the row number function in place here in adf so we'll simply select this row number function here in the expression builder and click on save and finish so this is done next we'll go to the data preview and we'll refresh to see how the data looks here so the data appeared what happens is that the department column column you can clearly see is bucketed or it is grouped together same department are clubbed together the salary is all sorted and then a new column row number column is created and this row number column has assigned increasing order integer number starting from 1 to all the uh, individual rows present in that bucket okay 1 2 3 4 5 then hr finished again comes it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 records are there in it then in ops ops department starting from first six records okay so what we have achieved we have achieved this second query result here in window transformation okay so this window transformation helps us to achieve this query next job is in sql what we did is we filtered out row number less than 4 so in order to get the top 3 salaried people department wise so next job is to apply a filter okay so in adf we have this filter transformation which comes under the row modifier section so we'll use this filter transformation and the other settings will be as is we have this filter on configuration where we'll open the expression builder and write the filter condition so the filter condition in our case will be row number it will be less than if four then it will give us the top 3 salary people okay so we'll click on save and finish and then data preview refresh so we have refreshed and we have got all the row numbers which are 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 less than 4 so we have got the top 3 salaried people department wise if we are interested to get the top 2 then it will be less than 3 then to only the top salaried person then it will be equal equal to 1 or less than 2 okay so accordingly we will write the filter condition here next our job is to uh add the sync transformation so we'll add sync okay and here we will connect it to the sql database so we are connecting to the sql database we'll name the output table as top 3 salary okay and we'll copy this and we'll select the link service and we'll select the link service create a new table and in the same dbo schema we'll try to name the table as top 3 salary and we'll click okay then we'll go to the settings of this and we'll try to every time create a new table with the same name okay so the table action we have selected as recreate the table why recreate uh, because the data from the input data set might change and top 3 salaried people also will change department wise so it should have the updated data next we'll go to the data preview and preview the data at the sync level so the data looks fine we have this extra row number column we are not interested to see this so in order to delete the columns we have the transformation as select transformation under the schema modifier section so right after the filter we have to apply this transformation so click on select so in the very first tab select settings we have all the columns shown from the incoming data set so we'll delete this extra column okay and then we'll again go to the sync and we'll try to refresh and see if this column is deleted so this column deleted and we have got the desired data set now what we'll do we'll go we'll publish all the changes in this pipeline Uh, and we'll go to the pipeline and perform a debug run so the data flow is in progress once this succeeds flow will go to the database so this is my database and click on refresh so that we could see the table here so this succeeded we'll go to the database and in the table section we'll search for the table name which we have given as top 3 salary 
select the top rows and we could see that department wise we have got the top three salary and this is the same as the data set we desired in the output so, so top three individuals were Gautam Kavya and Garima from the department HR the same we have got and then the next three are from IT as Pritam Ranit and Sonam the same we have got from the IT and then from the ops it's the Pekaniki and Hirsch okay so we have got the top three salaried individuals using the window transformation in ADF mapping data flow activity so thank you for watching the video happy learning bye